Hi there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Amber and I'm so glad you've joined me today. I am out and about. I'm getting ready to go in for my dental appointment. Uh, we just got back from our vacation to New Hampshire which I will be posting lots of vacation video and footage, so stay tuned for that. You won't want to miss it. Uh, we just had a glorious time. But today I have to go for my, just a dental checkup and cleaning. So this is the before. So we'll see if we see a difference. Um, they always are pretty thorough with the cleaning. It's Honestly, I'm sure like many people, going to the dentist is one of my least, very, very least favorite things to do. <laughs> least favorite. Um, not happy. And in fact, I was very tempted to cancel, but I'm going to get it done. <laughs> and then with medical appointments that I kind of dread, I always like to kind of uh, have something to look forward to afterwards. So after I finish here, I get to go to Goodwill and uh, see what treasures I can find, which I will show you when I get back home if I do find something. I also need to go to the farmer's market to stock up on fresh fruits and veggies so we can get this train back on track. <laughs> on our vacation, I will say that um, I tracked, tracked loosely. <laughs> in a way. It's always hard when you're eating out. You kind of have to guess at some things. Um, interestingly enough, tomorrow is Weight Watchers Way in Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Of course, last week I did not uh, upload a video because we were in New Hampshire, <laughs> but um, Monday, that was all of yesterday, um, yesterday was a busy day. I had to take my dad for, um, to be remeasured for his uh, upcoming cataract surgery next Monday. So out and about with him yesterday, we went out to lunch and all that good stuff. So it was a day, but at any rate, <laughs> I started to say that I got on the scale yesterday morning <clears throat> and I knew it would be up just because all of the eating out for seven days, um, Sunday to Sunday. So I figured I'd have some salt sodium retention, you know, etc. And um, one night hubby and I did actually share dessert. <laughs> we shared an ice cream sundae. It has been years since I've had an ice cream sundae. We only had dessert once, so I, I think that's pretty good. And I have to say we hiked and we were very active and it was wonderful. Wonderful. Wait till you see the pictures of the mountains and the trails. Uh, it was so wonderful. But I got on the scale yesterday morning and it was 188. I was like, oh my goodness, this is not good, you guys. <laughs> Thankfully and mercifully, got on the scale this morning and it said 186.8. So that is going in the right direction. So yeah, gonna lo load up with those fruits and veggies, which is such a staple, such a large part of my uh, normal diet. Um, and I always feel so much better uh, when I do eat healthy. So yeah, so we'll see what the scale says tomorrow. See if it goes down from there. Um, before vacation, I think I was um, somewhere between 184 and 185. Uh, I think I was 184.6 before I left. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look, but yeah. So if I gained only one to two pounds <laughs> on vacation, I say that's doing pretty doggone good considering all the, we drank a lot of coffee, <laughs> but, but I will say that the, we stayed in a Holiday Inn Express. I will say the coffee there was very watered down. We had to go to Dunkin' Donuts if we wanted a uh, true pick me up. <laughs> so yeah, so with the colder weather, we did drink a lot of coffee, which means more sugar and creamer and all that good stuff. But you know, that's the stuff vacations are made of, right? Splurges. But yep, so now it's time to get back on track. And I'm going to run in here to my dental appointment. And uh, this is the before. So uh, we'll see if they can clean up these teeth. <laughs> I'll check in with you in a bit. Well, I'm back in the car and the good news is I survived my cleaning. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think the uh, hygienist was digging for gold in my teeth. I don't know what she was hoping to find, but oh my goodness. She was uh, a, little, um, a little rough. I don't know, <laughs> but I got it done. So 
Uh, I don't know if you can tell a difference. Obviously my teeth are not squeaky white and um, that's not a huge issue for me. But uh, they are very nice and clean, I can tell you. <laughs> and in six months, I will definitely be back. They said the last time I was here was last May. So of course I did have an appointment scheduled um, in the spring, but of course uh, with everything closed, they had to cancel it. So anyway, I have my goodie bag here. So I have my nice toothbrush, um, some enamel health uh, toothpaste and a little uh, floss. So uh, she asked me how many times a day I brush and um, I guess it's kind of sad, but I brush once a day. But um, I think today might have made a believer out of me because I think I'm gonna be doing it twice a day. I'm gonna get my Listerine back out and my floss. I tell you, when they dig around in your mouth, it makes a believer out of you. <laughs> But um, definitely going to try to take better care of my gums. Um, they did all sorts of x-rays um, and I'm a gagger, so that's always fun. Uh, she had to go get the smaller size um, of the bite wing, uh, <laughs> bless her heart. And then they did the one that kind of circulates your whole head. They said that you only have to do that once every five years. So anyway, all my teeth uh, look good, no cavities, so win-win. Um, I didn't anticipate any problems because I do try to take good care of my teeth. But um, like I said, after today, I'll really be uh, <laughs> taking better care. Hopefully next time, well, next time we'll be in three, in six months rather. So, um, yeah, thankfully our insurance covers uh, cleanings every six months at 100%. So that is awesome. So no copay for today. So now it's off and running to Goodwill and uh, fun times. Enough of this gagging dental stuff, but I got it done. So I encourage you, if you haven't gone to get your cleaning, just get it out of the way and then have something fun to look forward to. So I'll check in with you in a little while. Well, I'm back home now and I thought I'd show you real quick what I got from the farmer's market. So um, of course I got some oatmeal raisin cookies for my dad. He likes those. Some blueberries. These look really nice. They're pretty good size. Um, I love those. Some lemons for, I like to have water with lemon. Grapes, great snack. Some carrots that happen to be from Canada, interestingly. And some creamer potatoes. I like to do those in the Instant Pot. And sweet potatoes as well. Those are, they said they're from South Carolina. And a head of cabbage for egg roll in a bowl. Um, I probably won't be eating that this week. I just feel like eating kind of light, but uh, hubby loves egg roll and bowl, so I'll make that for him. And some broccoli, so we can roast that in the oven with some garlic and olive oil, salt and pepper, or um, everything but the bagel uh, seasoning, we like that. And I got another butternut squash. I think I may either kind of mash it or make a butternut squash soup. I'm not sure, but we really enjoyed the other one that I got a couple weeks ago. So I thought while they're in season, I'll pick one up. Got a couple of cucumbers to have with our salad and two green peppers to cook with some chicken this week and two bunches of collard greens. They look really nice. So I do those in the Instant Pot and we love them. So that's what I got. I also did go ahead and put away the ground beef and chicken that I bought. I plan to do that this week. And then also I have a, a bottom round roast in the freezer that I plan to do probably Wednesday night, probably. Um, that would be tomorrow night <laughs> in the Instant Pot with some carrots and potatoes. So that is what I bought. Um, I did also buy a big bag of onions. I put those in the fridge already. So, yep, we were completely out of a lot of fresh produce since we just got back. So, yeah, that is uh, stocking us up for the week anyway. And then I'm going to turn the camera around this way to this other island here and show you what I'm doing. It is just about dinner time. So I have some brown rice here that I'm going to put in the Instant Pot 
um, mainly for hubby because he has to have his rice. <laughs> but what I am making, and we have leftover chicken um, that he picked up at Publix um, the day before yesterday, so we're gonna have that as our main dish, and then we also have some salad and tomatoes in the fridge, so I'm going to put that together real quick. But I really just had a hankering for some vegetable soup. So I'm just going to put this together really quickly. I'm just going to show you the ingredients and um, then I'm just gonna prepare it off camera. But this might give you some ideas on um, making just a quick veggie soup. You know, things in the kitchen don't have to be complicated. Um, simple ingredients are usually the very best. So um, I went ahead and I put some olive oil in the bottom of the Instant Pot because then I am going to saute some minced garlic and my onion once I cut that up. And the seasonings that I will be using are some onion powder, parsley flakes, uh, celery salt, and then this Italian seasoning that I love that a friend of mine gave me. Uh, my Weight Watcher friend, Becky. If you're watching, Becky, hey, we're using this. <laughs> it's halfway gone. <laughs> but um, it'll be kind of sad once I use that up. But uh, we'll have to get some more. And then I just have some pepper here. So then I am going to peel and dice a sweet potato here. And I have a couple just white potato, russet potatoes. And then I like a bunch of carrots, so I'll dice those up uh, really fine. And I got out some frozen peas, and then I just put a little bit of brown rice here that I'm going to throw into the Instant Pot, and then I just have some water here. And then my chicken flavored Better Than Bouillon, which I love, love, love. Let me know in the comments below if you guys use this. This is the best bouillon that I have found. Um, so I'll put that in there, probably one or two teaspoons. I kind of eye it and then see how much liquid I need, but probably at least the six cups. So that is what I'm working on for, um, for my portion of the dinner. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some soup. You know, when you travel, um, you know, you don't always get what you want. <laughs> and the lighter fare is hard to find. So I'm excited about, uh, you know, being in control of my meals and uh, tasting all the fresh goodness. Okay, I said I was gonna do the rest off camera, but I have to show you, I have the onions and carrots and garlic and olive oil, and I put some seasonings in here. I wish you guys could smell it because it smells divine. It smells almost like Thanksgiving in here. <laughs> But I'm gonna saute these and then I am, I'm using my Ninja Instant Pot. Then I will turn it off and then I will select the pressure cooker function and I am going to cook my soup for 17 minutes just in case you guys were wondering, but it is smelling so good. So, yep, I have cut up most of the potatoes. I have a little bit left. I have the sweet potatoes here and the white potatoes. I'm working on the second potato, cutting that up, and then I will add the peas and the rice and the bouillon, the chicken bouillon. So just wanted to show you that. It's smelling so good. And uh, wish you guys, I wish I could serve you all some soup. That'd be great. <laughs> but maybe you'll try this at your home. I found a few treasures at Goodwill, so I thought I'd share them with you now. So the first item was a pair of leggings, and uh, since I am really going to be trying to walk every morning, um, I thought I would, you know, see if, if they had any leggings, and let's see how much these were. They were $4.25, and they don't really have a tag in them that indicates the brand, but I thought they were super cute with Christmas and winter, you know, whatever that is here in Florida, but you know, it's coming up. So I thought they were really nice and they're like new condition, super stretchy, very nice. And I usually like to wear a big shirt um, with them. I did find this exercise shirt. It's a Reebok and it's a large. And uh, I thought that would be nice and roomy to wear with my, uh, some of my yoga pants that I already have for my walks. And this was 
uh, $4.25 as well. So I really like that top. And then I found one more uh, workout shirt and this one, let's see what brand it is. It's Be Inspired. I'm really not sure what brand that is, but it's a large, it's orange, one of my favorite, favorite colors and um, looks nice and roomy. <clears throat> And again, $4.25. So that was very nice, super stretchy. And I needed another pair of black capris. This is the brand Raffaella. I'm not sure if that's Penny's or Macy's. It rings a bell, but I'm not sure. Size 12, $4.25. And they're just, just regular black capris. They, they look extra large. I hope that they will fit. Um, if they're too baggy, I could put them in the dryer. Um, but yeah, so simple pair of black capris. And you know, because I seem to be on this black and white theme uh, lately, <laughs> I found a black and white striped shirt. I didn't realize it until I just was looking at it with my glasses on that the black stripe on this has like a glitter undertone. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but Oh, well, I'm not really that much into glitter, but I guess it's okay, um, <laughs> hopefully. This was uh, $4.79, so just another change. And then I got this really, really nice Pottery Barn hand towel. And I wish you guys could see how nice and thick this is. This is crazy thick. It says, uh, I'll show you the tag, it says it was made in Turkey, which of course they do really nicely uh, with their textiles, but super, super nice quality. And this was 75 cents, 75 cents. And it's a nice cream off-white, uh, kind of oversized uh, hand towel. So that was really nice. And then just uh, two more items, and then that is all for today. So um, this is a really pretty vase. I always like to pick up vases when I'm there um, because if I wanna give someone flowers, this is an economical way of doing it. So this was uh, 95 cents, so you can't beat that. I thought that was really unique looking. And then the last item was this nice vase. I like it when they're uh, kind of bottlenecked here because it helps to stabilize the floral arrangement. And this was uh, 75 cents. So yeah, I'm trying to, like I always say, I'm, try I'm trying to be selective about what I bring home, making sure it's something I absolutely need. Um, but yeah, I was looking for a few more things, but, um, they were not to be had today, but that's okay. <laughs> that's what keeps me coming back, right? It's like treasure hunting. So I hope you enjoyed this day in the life. Got my dental appointment done, the soup made, and hopefully that has maybe inspired you to make some soup or something yummy. And, uh, comment below. I always love to hear from you all and I will see you soon. God bless.